Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through the Bitcoin chart, keeping this short, sweet and to the point to give you some really important information to manage your day trades. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy. Let's get straight into the chart. So last night we did have a move up to $18,500. I did not short up here, by the way. I did not short up here. But I was able to get into a long off of the drop. And that's from having a plan and knowing where the support is. Obviously, we had support come in at the end off of the value area high. So I missed the short. OK, that happens. But I did manage to take a long. What we see is also the confluence. Oh, really nice. Where we also come into the CC. So that's really simply Fibonacci from low to high coming into the also perfect CC. From the CC, we got our bounce. Would you like to see how extremely technical this is? Let's go. Lower term time frame. Why did we find resistance off of here? I'll tell you, there's never, ever, ever a random pivot in the chart. This was not random or by chance that we turn around here. Point of control, fixed range from the last range before the drop down. Okay, take that fixed range. Point of control, madre mia, $18,280. That point of control, as highlighted here, we can see comes in once resistance twice resistance three times resistance what does that give us it gives us three resistances one two three higher lows one two three a sending triangle what are most people expecting they're expecting a breakup what does bitcoin like to do it likes to do what everybody is not expecting and it breaks down yes ladies and gentlemen and i must give a massive shout out to igor who recognized the bearish CVD divergences and Chris, who also recognized the bearish CVD divergences because I was looking at something else. I missed them, but uh, I thank them because they helped me get into the short position off of those bearish CVD divergences. And that is the absolute positive thing about a trading community. You got somebody's got their eyes on something. Uh, so thanks to those people. Chris and Eagle, recognizing the CVD divergences, managed to take a short when also asked about the order book. So the order book is, um, you know, I was asked, what's the order book looking like? Is someone sat there with limit orders? And my answer, my answer was really simply, yes, somebody is filling a big short position. That's where we can look at the order book here and we can sort of see, OK, are people, you know, you want to look at the bigger trader. So what's the bigger trader? What's the exchange doing here? Are they filling longs, filling shorts? And you say, take a look at the footprint, which obviously get, you know, uh, to come to a conclusion or a thesis of what's happening. And my idea here was that, yes, somebody is filling a big short. And we compare, we then, with confluence of the bearish CVD divergences with the order book, we can recognize price is more likely to drop. Thus, you take a short position. Okay. Um, I must highlight this. Bybit was the only one with the bearish CVD divergences, was the only one, ladies and gentlemen, with the bearish CVD. Check this on OKEX, wasn't there. Check this on Binance, wasn't there. Check this on BitMEX, wasn't there. The only one with it was Bybit. And this is why Bybit 100% has the best order flow software. It is so amazingly helpful. So amazingly helpful, ladies and gentlemen. Bybit, the only one with that. I must shout out <laughs> also Bybit. Their, their exchange is brilliant. And really simply, I closed my short off of the bearish CV divergences and I switched back long. So really, really simply, switched back long, as we can see here. Support coming in. And we can actually see really beautifully how this has got one bounce two bounces, three bounces. It's just, oh, so, oh, oh, I mean, there's a lot of scope trades to be had today. Really is a lot of scope trades to be had. So you go from the bearish CVD divergences short, well, me anyway, so it's closing my short going into a long. Um, so a few key levels. I wanted to talk you through that because technically the way that we bounced, the way we rejected, the way we put in the triangle, the way we fell down from it off of the bearish CVD um, coming into your support, I mean, yeah, it's just so, 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 so nice. But what I want to do is give you a few really key levels here for day traders. Okay, sorry, swing traders. <laughs> this video is not aimed for you. I'm only swing trade. Um, I'm only scalp trading today. So I'm only interested in getting the 1% move, the 1% move, you know, quick trades in and out, banks and profits, move on to the next one. So I don't have like an overall bias at the moment of a long term bias. I'm just interested in trading what I've got. For me, they're the highest probable trades. Thus, we got 
intraday support coming in $17,700. This is the point of control of the current local range. As you can see, that $17,700. If you lose $17,700, you got $17,440 to $16,600. Three important supports to the downside. To the upside, really clearly, we got that point of control. $18,280, your local resistance at the moment. If you break that, you'd really simply look towards $18,550 being your last high for a potential swing failure. If you do not swing failure, I think you look towards $19,000. Really simply, you want to make a plan. For me, it's low term time frame trades today. Um, you know, make a plan, execute the plan, and you know, move on to the next trade sort of thing. You know, don't, don't hold on to the trade all day. You want to take profits, move on to the next one. That's what I'm doing. And thus far, it's, it's worked pretty well. <laughs> um, and I want to end with the announcements, obviously, of... Um... Oh, yeah, that was that was a good good uh, range that I gave you last night as well, by the way. We actually, in the end, come down towards the low of the range. Well, I did take longs, and this was uh, updated on... Inst if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I've done a, a post on Instagram about when we were down here and how I switched into a long. Um, obviously, we ended up going to $18,500. So it wasn't so bad. <laughs> but I want to end with the announcement, obviously, that the Bybit competition. So you can get this off of the Discord. Um, or I'll leave it in the comments down below on YouTube. The Bybit competition starts in one day, 19 hours. We're currently beginning giving away 1.75 Bitcoin. If 15 more people join, that goes up to 2 Bitcoin. 2 Bitcoin giveaway here. Uh, competition starts on the 20th of November. So you've got one day, 19 hours left to register. All the instructions are really simply laid out here. You've got to make the account and then click on register now and you will be within the Champions League of Trading or the top 10 will be walking away with prize money. So that's really exciting. And I want to make you aware, by the way, that this uh, competition can be used in conjunction with the um, awards that we're also get, you know, that well, by the, I suppose this is it, are also giving away with the deposit bonuses. So if you want to make an account for the competition and then make use of the deposit bonuses, you absolutely can. Again, these instructions, I suppose you can, you can just pause the screen and read this if you'd like. Um, but yeah, these are the instructions for the deposit bonus. This is available for everybody in the competition or not. And uh, obviously, this is for the, for the competition instructions. But again, that starts in two days. Well, less than two days. So make sure you're registered for that if you'd like to be in the chance of winning. And the last thing that I want to end here is with the contenders live stream. We got a contenders live stream tonight. This is for all of the contenders and all the champions. This is going to be an educational live stream where I'm going to be going through tonight entering a trade option. So we'll be going through how exact well, the options you have to enter your trade and how I actually like to take all my trades. So that's an educational live stream that we also have tonight for you. Uh, so yeah, that has been today's video. I've talked you through um, I've talked you through the reason we bounced down here, the reason we rejected up here. Never ever a random pivot. We're talking to the dollar almost on both of those pivots. I've then taught you through the ascending triangle. Most people, again, classic pattern, expect it to break up. You got the bearish CVD, it breaks down. You come down to your VVAT, what bounce one, bounce twice, bounce three times, possibly bounce four times. <laughs> um, and then I've taught you through some bigger levels of support if we break down from this. And I've taught you through some bigger levels of resistance if we manage to wake up, make our way back up. I myself am scope trading. I don't have a higher term time frame bias. I'm happy to take these smaller term time frame trades and uh yeah hope you've enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen have a brilliant day and if you are feel, feeling interested in joining for the educational stream tonight chartchampions.com and i'll see you in the members live stream cheers everybody thank you so much have a brilliant day bye